I love Project Zomboid. It has a perfect blend between realism and gameplay. Most survival games would fumble on these two features alone. What? For example, the realism aspect. A lot of survival games will use the generic two bars with a blue and a green to simulate your hunger and thirst. You could do without it, you could. You could do without it, you could. It's a real dog, you get it. While in Project Zomboid, uh -oh. your character literally. literally tells you Oh man, I'm feeling a bit peckish And as well, your character can go through tons of mental issues too It makes it feel like you're not even playing as yourself Instead, you're watching a story I mean, the game literally tells you this is how you die in the character creation menu, the game by default will pick a normal first name and second name. Those three features alone makes this game feel far more realistic than others. Oh, yep. And a big part of this entire gourmet style meal is the game. Project Zomboid doesn't make it boring. You never feel like you're truly safe. Now, with all that said and done, let me ask you this. You're done. What happens when a niche game on Steam suddenly gets traction? Well, other than the hundreds of YouTubers telling you how good the game is, you get copycats. And now we come to the topic of the video, Humanity Z. You know, funny enough, I didn't actually mean to find this game. I was just on YouTube and I bumped into a title that raised my eyebrows. So when I saw it, I thought, Yeah right, I'll give you a shot. I installed it on Steam, booted it up, and I jumped into single player mode. I then had to pick my character. This dude looks like he's from Unity. Oh my god, what is wrong with her? She looks so stumpy. <laughs> this guy just got done playing Minecraft. She's not even holding the shotgun correctly. I bet all the gun enthusiasts are gonna be fucking pissed off seeing that. This is me. This is this is actually me. When I'm up at like 4 o'clock in the morning editing a video. This is what I look like. I'm like in Minecraft dude over here, he's probably my favourite. Okay, so mechanic, you have a knack with tools of the trade. I don't think that makes sense. Having no real skills. <laughs> yeah, 15% more effective with all food items. What do you mean if more effective with food items? What does that mean? Does that mean like I get buffs? Like I get like, like an RL craft? Bio researcher, gas boy. After picking our handsome rogue, we spawn into the town of Demo Map. Not before getting some very useful tips like you can sleep in white tents or don't eat yellow snow. Ever. Amazing. So we spawned in with a damaged tuk tuk and an old house. And then it starts to rain. Repair kit. Oh wow, and it suddenly rains! How ironic! I run inside and the roof gets ripped off. I guess the landlord was serious about his threat. That is so fucking loud. Let me turn that down. Jesus Christ. That is so <laughs> <laughs> just lit it Just hold on. Just, 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 just imagine it. Just like... <laughs> Okay, now it's actually hearable. Um, whoa. Alright, let me tell you why Project Zomboid doesn't let you rotate the camera. I don't think I need to explain why this is bad, but I'm sure a good amount of people would say being able to rotate the camera would be a good thing, but not like this. Maybe a snap from each angle would be better. Now, if you've played Project Zomboid enough, you'll know that getting into fights with large hordes of zombies have you on the move a lot. Even if you're not fighting them, you will be constantly on your feet, running or sneaking. Master the ability of standing so incredibly still. So, unless the zombies are coming from one fixed angle, you're going to be constantly switching from angle to angle. And I'm probably not going to get another time to say this, but come on, you're really going to go for that stereotypical hood? I don't hate normal hoods, but give it a bit more design. So anyway, I get started on moving that wood. 
I walked around the barn for 20 minutes. I tried to build a water collector and after the rain was gone. I have to press B to enter build mode and then L to enter the build area. Okay. Got that down. I have to like pick up each log and then move it in there. And resources, yes. Missing resources, what do you mean? I have a log. Okay, do I need to cut it down? Eventually I got bored and decided to head into town. <sighs> oh. Ah, yes. Invisible wall. My good friend in every shitty Unity game. By the way, I don't hate Unity. It's a great game engine to use when you know how to use it, and some game devs have made some really good games in the past, but it's had its face dragged into the dirt. Anyways, I finally make it to the church, and I encounter my first zombie. Okay, fuck man, I don't want to do this man. Nah! Oh, alright then, okay, he backed up. Going the long way. Yeah! I just go back here. Damn it! <laughs> he's not gonna go. He's gonna go back all the way. Oh no, he stopped. I managed to use my charisma. Wait, I wonder I wonder what would happen if like I did it with the rest of them. Okay, they're coming after me. I need to hide quickly. Let me go through here. It's all go the different way. They don't go the, <laughs> they don't go the same way. If you're not gonna put the time in to make a proper zombie AI, why bother? Anyways, after playing conga with the zombies, I eventually die. So instead of going back to the church, I took a right turn and found a gas station with a shotgun inside. I went back outside and I saw a deer near the car lot. And what I'm about to show you may shock you. I couldn't get the shotgun. Where is it? Shh, 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 shh. You have to live soon, my friend. No. Bam! Your life is nothing. Boom. Miss me with that gay shit. <laughs> Not a whole lot of hunting in this game. Maybe I can just bonk him with my. <laughs> okay then. So I drive for a while until I bumped into the church again. Yes, we have come full circle. Go around here. What's in here? There's some medical supplies here. Maybe this is a zombie. Is that a person? Are you a zombie? Are you? Are you? No, you're a zombie. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing in there. And I found a new weapon. Maybe I should put you back in the grave. Fucking pussy. Hold on. No, wait, hold on. No, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where am I? After walking what felt like miles, I finally found a new car. I drove down the road and I met some friendly faces. Oh shit. Oh, we're at the quarantine zone. Oh. <laughs> Who is he? What's he doing? What are you doing? What are you shooting at me for? What have I done? Fuck you then, dick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get in the car, get in the car. Get him. Nice. Swap. I got it, I got his rifle, I got his rifle. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my god, I'm in the shit now. Dude, something entertaining is happening. Got him. Oh, is that just a bunch of ammo on a fucking table? You really could not be fucked putting in like a, a safe or like somewhere where an actual human being would put it. You just like, oh yeah, just spawn it all on a table. Why not? What's this? Oh, a liter of cola. cola! Cola! Not, not, not cola. Cola! Uh, let me... Well, I need the rope to hang myself. Oh my god, look, it's a Discord admin! Oh shit, is this another, is this another military camp? Maybe there might be survivors in here. No, no! The zombies are in here! Can you stop shooting the ground and shoot his head? I'm sorry? <laughs> Alright, well, this looks like where I'm gonna be staying for the night. I have no crops, I have no water, I'm going to starve, and, you know, die from dehydration as well. There's literally no hope for my survival. But hey, look on the bright side. I managed to kill some zombies by shooting their legs, and I played a bit of PUBG. So yeah, pretty good. So overall, you have this terribly optimized game with no clear directions, no proper coding, no originality, and no soul. Even if it came out of demo and went into early access, the only reasonable price tag for this game is free. I know there will be people defending it saying it's only a demo, 
which I don't know why. If you're making a game and you're gonna release it to the public, you wanna make it look the best it can be. You wanna make it as fun as it can. And if this is the best, then I don't wanna see what the worst is. Now, despite me being incredibly harsh to this game, I'm pretty sure this is just a passion project or a show of respect to the PZ devs. If you want to show love, go the next step. Put time into your work. Don't just shove it out and try to gain numbers from another game's popularity. Anyway, that's enough for me today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.